uh, good evening friends uh, it's again a great pleasure to have one of our next meetings and uh, uh, this time um, when as i was trying to locate the uh, topics and speakers uh, and interesting areas then i remembered about asdin and uh, we thought uh, uh, quite a number attended from india presenting papers so i thought let them uh, Uh, share their experiences from Asdin, and there will be other uh, junior members joining the group today who may not be familiar with uh, Asdin and uh, the people in Asdin and the events happening there. So I thought this will be a uh, good uh, sharing forum. And next month uh, we would have a more formal uh, uh, presentation of uh, you know okay, sort of uh, uh, crystallized. Uh, you know, A presentation of uh, events from Asdin from some speakers from US, and uh, today we have a new guest, uh, Dr. Suresh. I think he is not new; he was mm -hmm. there already. He said, uh, "I met him for the first time." And uh, uh, before uh, uh, we go on to presentation of the speakers by Dr. Vinay, uh, I should tell you how I came across uh, uh, Asdin. Uh, that was, uh, I mean, these are the. Uh, this is a rough program. Then, uh, yeah. So it was in two thousand thirteen, I think, uh, when I uh, first presented my paper on. Uh, yeah, this was the abstract. It was in two thousand thirteen. Uh, A. B. Fistula by a nephrologist. Uh, this uh, happened in Washington, and this was a oral presentation. and uh, this was uh, yeah this is the abstract uh, the poster and uh, and this was the uh, presentation which when i was there then at the end of the thing and uh, this was uh, given an uh, best paper or best poster award uh, so that was in 2013 and again i went back in uh, 2014 when i had this presentation on uh, uh renal angiogram angioplasty it's time and a nephrologist enter cath lab so i tried to tell them how i got in uh, involved in cath lab and so on this was in phoenix i think uh then uh, um, later uh, on um, the phoenix meeting again i was asked to give a video presentation of uh, uh invited to give a video presentation on uh, interventional nephrology in india so that was i think very uh, important moment in my life when uh, i was uh, gotten from uh, thrinal valley to uh, phoenix to give a presentation it was a really great uh, occasion and i found that uh, you know obviously many people in asdin or uh, quite a number of them are from india and not only that they were very uh, helpful and very encouraging and uh, um, i remember uh, asif arif i think he was the one at that time holding some posts there and he was uh, uh, so nice to me and uh, trying to be helpful and they offered to send all this as papers to be published in uh, their journal seminars but i never <laughs> did anything <laughs> i couldn't do all those things then uh, only the pandemic time you know this uh, activity revived and uh, we are here now in this inform group and i am glad that uh, um, quite a number of people are uh, uh, getting involved not only in interventions in india they are becoming part of asdin and uh, uh, girish and now uh, paul zakaria all of them got asdin and hemant has become taken important post in asdin from our side so i think we are well trenched into asdin and uh, people like uh, dr anil agarwal vandana niyar and adrian uh, overall you know in key positions in asdin are very close to us and they attend this meeting which is a small uh, event occurring in this corner of the world but yet they spare time and uh, get involved and today we have uh, suresh and we have richard and maybe next time we'll have speakers from there to tell more about uh, this year's hosting and i'll uh, uh, you know hand over the event to dr vinith vinith uh, please yes, uh, 
yeah. Mr. Mr. So I'll unshare my yes, uh, stop sharing my slides. And this was uh, uninvitedly thrust into you all these slides which I made just now. Okay. Uh, is the PowerPoint visible, sir? Yeah, it is visible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as introduced by Dr. Bala, sir, welcome to today's uh, uh, meeting. It is mainly dedicated as a highlight of the ASDIN 2023, which concluded uh, recently. And uh, sir has already uh, told us the, uh, the plan for the evening. And uh, I will firstly introduce today's speakers because, uh, yeah. So firstly, uh, Dr. Girish, who is a consultant, we all know about him. He is one of the top dynamic uh, intervention nephrologists of the country who uh, is not only now well known across India, but across the whole world. And uh, he is working as an intervention nephrologist at INU Bangalore. And he did his MD medicine from Pune, DM from Chennai, got FASDIN at a quite early time and is one of the youngest FASDIN awardees from the country and has multiple felicitations and awards to his credit with uh, some prestigious awards like uh, Achiever in Nephrology Award from the Lieutenant Governor of Telangana. And he is, uh, we all know him from the, in, from the inform group and he's an active participant in all uh, discussions and a prolific uh, intervention nephrologist. And he is a member of most of the academic bodies of nephrology as well as uh, interventions and has multiple publications and uh, research to his credit. And as obvious, his areas of interest are vascular access interventions and endovascular procedures. Uh, secondly, uh, and, uh, out... Vineet, Vineet, uh, yes, just sir. an interruption uh, about uh, Girish. You know, I came across him as a DMPG in Chennai when uh, they conducted a program on intervention nephrology with uh, uh, Lal as an invited guest from US. And he was a second year or final year PG, and I remember him very distinctly. And late, I'm glad that he has grown since then to become one of the top intervention of theology uh, person in the country. And I should make a mention here that uh, last week or so we had this Coimbatore meet, where I think this is for the first time in a live workshop on cath lab procedures uh, done solely by nephrologists for nephrologists happening for the first time in the country, I think. And, uh, and it, it went on very well. And uh, not only AV fistula intervention, which is, uh, you know, uh, more importantly, uh, he was bold enough to demonstrate the central vein uh, uh, intervention too. I think it, was, it is a great credit to him. And I will stop here. Welcome, Girish. Okay, Vineet. Yeah, uh, we are also having... Uh... Uh, we're also very proud to have one of the senior residents working with uh, Girish, Dr. Atish, who uh, has got MBBS from uh, Manipal uh, Academy of Higher Education, did his MD medicine from Nasik, and is working with uh, Dr. Girish. And quite obviously, working with Girish, he can't stay away from interventions. So he is a part of many of the uh, projects in which Girish is working. And as an entire team, many of their uh, uh, I mean, fellows worked and participated in most of the work. Uh, we also have a new entrant, Dr. Richard Almeida, and uh, who is a consultant, intervention nephrologist, and transplant physician. I'm sorry, there is a uh, correction here from uh, University of Wisconsin, US. And uh, we all know his father, Dr. Almeida from Mumbai. So Richard did his MD medicine from, from, from US and his fellowship in 2020 from uh, University of Wisconsin. And thereafter went on to do his fellowship in intervention nephrology in 2022 and uh, amongst his achievements uh, has been a medicine star educated award from university of wisconsin he also received a nephroship fellowship excellent award from uh, <laughs> university in medicine in 22 and he has been an active member of most of the nephrology related societies from us that is asn acp that is the uh, that is the american college of physicians and he is an active member and participant in asdin he has multiple research projects and publications to his credit and has presented several papers and talks in national and, and international conferences. And uh, his present area of interest is Urgent Start PD, on which he shall be talking about his abstract today. 
and uh, of course our uh, one of we are also happy to have dr uh, zakaria paul who is a clinical associate professor from uh, department of nephrology and transplant amrita school of medicine from amrita institute of medical sciences kochi and he also happens to be the president of the ima of the edapalli branch in kerala and uh, his interests include critical care nephrology access um, access of dialysis and extracorporeal therapies in sepsis and liver failure and targeted therapeutic apheresis and immune and non immune diseases so i would just give a brief overview of asdin uh, the 19th annual scientific meeting of asdin which happens to be one of the not one of the the top most uh, intervention nephrology meeting across the world was held uh, in uh, in orlando in uh, with the walt disney area in on from 17 to 19th of this month and uh, the program was chaired by one of our favorite dr adrian who quite often attends our meeting and is a very active participant in our inform meetings and uh, uh, there was a small indian contingent a few uh, abstracts had been submitted and uh, a few of our indian nephrologists as sir was saying actively participated so it was led by dr himmat mehta himself who as we all know is the father of intervention nephrology in our country so he presented uh, one or two cases and a few abstracts so uh, he shall be covering his talks or his abstracts in the next inform meeting thereafter we had dr girish from inu bangalore who presented four to five abstracts uh, with uh, he presenting with some of his residents presenting that is uh, utility of retiplase in the management of dysfunctional vascular access and comparison of retiplase and urokinase for pharmacomechanical thrombolysis of clotted hemodialysis access presented by dr atish a study of short term outcomes of tunnel dialysis catheter and its correlation with baseline procalcitonin in patients from a developing country and a retrospective comparative trial comparing efficacy of urokinase and retiplase for tunnel uh, catheter dysfunction so we'll be having girish today covering uh, his uh, his his abstracts with the help of some of his residents so looking forward to the talks by dr girish dr richard of course had a very interesting talk on uh, successful utilization of intervention nephrology in an urgent start pd program his experience from his center so we all look forward to his talk and uh, i had submitted two abstracts one is an interesting case of suturing of inner cuff of pd catheter to rectus sheath during catheter placement to avoid migration and avoid leakage so this most of us uh, of us are doing in india but in one of the inform meetings we had discussed about it and uh, all the people from asgen they are quite surprised to see such a technique being done so we had just submitted as a small uh, video or abstract and of course uh, this thing i had already presented in asgen that is uh, we had devised a technique of insertion of coiled pd catheters using a coil, uh, doing a modified percutaneous technique with a coil in orientation and a inverse u shaped tunnel so uh, i could not go so i had just uh, submitted them as an on demand abstracts and of course we thank uh, inform for being the first platform in fact me dr girish and dr purva for we all thank inform uh, for being the first platform for giving us the opportunity to present the work which is later also accepted by asdin and of course dr purva she also presented a similar abstract on uh, pursing suture of the catheter placement in emergent start pd and uh, it was already discussed so even my abstracts were discussed in our previous inform meetings so we didn't want to uh, make a repeat presentation in a inform meeting so we'll not be uh, presenting these and of course uh, our dear uh, girish and dr paul both of them were felicitated and were conferred fasdin so heartiest congratulations to dr girish and dr zakaria that's a great uh, feather in their caps and a, a, a great uh, matter of pride for all of us so heartiest congratulations to both of you from the ent entire indian fraternity and uh, inform so with this uh, we would start our uh, today's meeting so uh,